Welcome to the video. Today's the last day of the season. And the seasonal conjuring tickets all run out today in an hour and a half's time. So I'm going to spend all my conjuring tickets from this season. And I've saved up 14,339 from last season. In the other conjuring video, I stopped halfway through spending my seasonal tickets. Because I heard that the ancestors and the abyssals were going to move into the other gate. I originally just thought it was going to be the abyssal monsters, but we've got a 0.0167% chance to get an ancestral egg. Or a 0.0567% chance to get sales. So I think I'm going to do some summons first of the regular tickets and then go and spend my 1750 seasonal ones. I couldn't make it to the end of the challenge of spending 750 bounty hunt stamina. Or I would have had another thousand there. So let's get into the summoning. Good luck when you do your summons. So here's the first one. So some old mythics there. Posidonia, quite a good one. Positive and the negative effects removal, healing, and support and stuff. Kane's quite a good legend. You can do extra turns and bleeding. And Boring Knot's got the Revival Essence slot. And Dratis is an old Pierce monster, but you never really see it used. I think I'm just going to do a couple more of these five summons and see if I get anything good, and if not, I'm just going to move on to the other gate. So Neil Bookie, on my second pull, from the race book, Legend. And Ingwe was quite good when it came out. So a Monk Flame Org Egg. It's a good support monster. Good for wars because of its traits. It's got torture immunity. And Forge Lab's got double revival relic. So it can hold two Shadow Wiener's essences. And do all sorts of damage without killing anyone. And pure panda is also pretty good from back in the day for turn transfer. And then Neil Bookie's evil twin. Tells you about it in a story. So I think I'm just going to do one or two more of these and I'm going to press the skip animation button to see if that changes your luck because I never really do that. Ramia. So, a legend egg. And some Nemesis cells and an X Mess cell. Another Neil Bookie and 100 Thorman cells, which is decent because that's what I'm working on in the rank up dungeon just now. Or at least I was, in fact, but now you can't get cells, so. It's one I've got sales for in the rank up dungeon. So that puts me up to 4,050 sales for that. And I'm going to start ranking it up soon. You can use it in the Coliseum because it's got triple damage. I'm going to do a couple more of these. The next one I'm going to do, I'll do a seasonal one. So some Mr. Beast sales there. Good for the gold production because I've not got that rank 5. So now for my first seasonal summit, the probabilities of these are you get 1% chance of getting these eggs, the Ancestor. And then once you get either the Ancestor's eggs or enough cells to craft them, you can go into the dungeon and get 5 cells a day for free by just completing your dungeon. So here's the first seasonal one. 
Fingers crossed I get something good. So 20 Congress cells towards crafting that. So I'll be able to request that in chat. And that's one you can only get from the conjuring gates. So I forget that will be pretty lucky. Just gonna check how many ancestor cells I've got. I'll go for the tight. Five every day. I was thinking about recharging or buying some kind of tickets to reopen the dungeon to get more cells. So I could rank one faster. But I decided not to yesterday. Not sure if I will. So that's where I am with the other ancestors. And now to get back to the conjuring. I had to spend some gems and stamina in the bounty hunt. So I was able to get the water token to get rank 3. So now for another times 5 of the seasonal one. Drop a comment on what you got in your conjuring recently. Did you get anything good? So I'm going to do two more of these seasonal ones and then go back to the regular conjuring one and spend some tickets and come back from a last seasonal one. Oh, a nice one I got Aki from. It's an artifact. And it's pretty good, it can give nanovirus. And it says here that it does cooldown restoration, which is pretty decent. Pretty sick. Admiral Copperbeard is really sick for cooldown restoration. So hopefully it's as good as that. I've been getting beat off it in the dungeons, kind of, here and there. And 100 Synthetic Cells is a good tank. That's not got rank 5 yet. I was going to work on ranking it up before they removed the beasts, but I ended up not getting around to it. And Algath has one that I'm using in the Colosseums as well. It's really good for it. Gives you triple damage. And it can give all allies triple damage. And remove negative effects and come back to life. And if you have Shadowina's Essence on it, when it comes back to life, it gives everyone a strength increase. And QA's got the Revival Verb as well. And Aki Thron's got the banner, so it can use Flash Eron's banner and cause a lot of damage when it gets a turner. So one more of these times fives, and then I'm gonna go to the other gate. That was pretty lucky I got Aki Thron. Ah, uh, so only old mythics there. Guy Diggle is quite a good original myth. I talked about it back in the, a few seasons ago, or last season or something. I had to extract that to get some level X runes that I had on it. It was a red one and I had it at rank 3. So I extracted it to get the runes back. And now I can kind of get it back to the same rank. And Mother Talica is pretty decent, but I've got it at rank 5. So I'm going to put Aki Throne on the hatchery just now. I forgot to do that at first. Now I can hope I get three slots on that. So the last block of five full summons. And then I can come back for the times one. Nice one, I got 20 more Deacon Tideborn cells. It's only 20 away from that now. And Beanbot's a good Gears one, and it can hold Shadowina's Essence, and Hidden Shift, and Balthazar's Mask to give Curse. And Emerus I heard was quite good at the time, but I didn't really ever use it. And I'm claw the original YouTuber method. Original generation. So now for some regular conjuring gate ones. So 
to some sales towards the Nevada Dead Banana, who I'm currently at rank 4 of. That's pretty decent. You can heal and give positive effects removal, negative effects removal, torture immunity as a status caster, and it can possess and do extra turn positive removal stuff. All sorts. And Harpiker is a Pierce monster, but you have to get it to rank 5 for it to get Pierce, and it's a status caster. And Boulder is a good extra turn monster. That was the monster that I originally started mutating stamina runes for because it can attack pretty much forever and apply a lot of damage over times and damage. With its relics, it can do a lot of damage, but I never got it past rank 2 or something. And 40 more Nigel Booty Cells. I'm going to start skipping the animations of these again. I feel I got a Lord Pump Seat Deck. An old race monster. And Garnet Cells are good Megaton. Can give itself evasion, positive effects, protect, and heal and stuff. And Oswald's quite strong. And the Cells are good Forsaken. Pump Seat's also pretty good as well. Viatrix is dodgy area. And it's pretty decent. Pretty good control. 100 sales is good. So, out of these ones, I still need Feast on Tideborn, Rifania Ironwing, Woo Woo Woo. But I've not really looked at. Just noticed it's got the Revival Relic. And I've got Wooter. Didn't know you could get it from this. Still need Queen Thalassa. Trying to get south from that in the team chat. Close to getting Congress, kinda. How Lenny have not got any cells up at all, I don't think. And just got Aki thrown. Don't have Root Horn, but I got Wolper down here in an earlier one. And I still need Sir Weasel. And I got King Daron, Ryuto Sama, and Piraniac in earlier ones. Earlier Conjuring video. So a lot of Heyman Egg, which is decent. I finally just fed that up to rank 5. I had it at 142 for ages, but sitting rank 5. I had to feed it up for a war. And I don't really know much about war attack or any of the nemesis. All the different ones with different skills. Different pay to win kind of price point one. Neobookie's a really good uh, support monster. It can give itself evasion, give all allies evasion, and give itself taunt. And it can do a negative effects removal. I'm not sure if it can positive effects removal off the top. Master Gold Feet, I never really used it at all. Arrow Death's pretty good. And the other two, I don't know anything about. So 100 only yourself. Never really used it. X Mess is one you can kinda use in wars. Because it's got insta kill kinda skills. And you can kinda use it on defense for restrictions in wars. And Q3 Rions, a decent tank. It's good to have rank 5 for wars as well. Because it's got the taunt and artifact trait. So you can use it in defense and attack kinda. As a good backup thing, but it's quite outdated now. And I never really used Black Feather much. I'm probably going to save about 5,000 of these tickets. So, 100 Akuno Buki cells. Some Brutalizer cells. And some Tusker cells. Tusker's one that you can kind of use in this bounty hunt after because it's got weak hair. But you can get other hairs that are kind of easier to get. But it's a good backup one. And it might be strong elementally, I don't know, against the other one. I think I'm going to do a, two more of these. And then go back to the regular gate for the last single, single summon. So 
also nothing much there for second ones towards rank 5 and I need to do those for boots so that's quite decent I'll show you the forsaken page that I kind of need to do for boots and get a lot of X rune because it's one that's got X runes on it X life rune exclusive page 10 so that one wasn't on that I don't think yeah, Lamia's on the next page, which has got 9 runes on it. So all of these can go towards ranks for these, if I can ever get pods. Now back to the last regular. And back to the seasonal one. Synapticus, quite a good one. Had a lot of sales for that for a while as I've read a lot of them and extracted it in a breeding event one. So now I'm going to go do my last final summon. I accidentally clicked the five. Ah, Q waste. I thought that might have been deep on type one there where I saw it. Kind of the same shape. Both spin also got. And I think I'm going to do some more of these because there's always a chance that I can get an ancestral, even if it's 0 0.0169. Or that sales. A lot more hay man and some volcanics. Those are good ones. Very good. And side on the ruby. I think that might be the one that's the the best side on. So down to seven point five K nearly trophies. I mean tickets. So Sigrid and Fort was a £50 monster for and Super Fox Gears monster and back in the day. I think I'm going to keep doing these because a few more. I'm just going to click the skip animation. So nothing from that. And I think I'm going to do three more or something. And watch the animation. Nice one, some Forge Lab Cells. And Mr. Beast, because it's original generation, there's no breakouts. So that's close towards rank four. Yeah, I'm just going to save 5,000 like I was kind of planning. Nice one, some Dark Gold takes out. I've not even got Dark Gold take ranked up. Never really had to use it. A few more of these to go. So some Fropsy cells. Pretty dynamite tank. It's got torture immunity trait, so can't really get tortured unless you trait disabled. And Hamer, which is dope. You do all sorts of cooldown activation, positive effects removal and possession and stuff. So two more of these, I think I'm gonna call it a video after that. some more of the old kind of previous ones and waspers are good legendary attacker because it's got evasion at the start of the battle and it's quite strong and it can do the trait disabled 
AOE and single target trade disabled. Feel so some slumps to ourselves. Uh, got that around five, so not when I can use, but I can always donate them to people if they request it. And I've not ranked up or not, so towards that, that's good. And then the end of the video, Neil Bookie and Akuno Bookie together. So I need to get set up for this race now, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my playlist all other easy to access content and I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take it easy.